people hoping for big times ahead for the economy and looking forward to the big time in football. And uh, tell me you're going to do the sports says now, but this has been the most unbelievable success for Blackpool. Nobody would have predicted No, and they were 40 to 1 to go up. They were favourites for relegation. It lived the dream, they say, and this lot are doing it. They, they, the players themselves are saying, we don't care about next season, let's just enjoy now, which is what they're doing. Uh, what a day to forget your sun cream, though. Uh, anyway, what about that win that took Blackpool into the Premier League? It was one of those games that had everything. Five goals, Blackpool twice coming uh, behind. An unbelievable tension as they hung on till the end. For any Seasiders fan who was there, it was a day they'll never forget. Our very own Richard Askin was there to see their dreams come true in the Wembley sunshine. Wonder what a way to clinch Premier League promotion. A five goal thriller right out of Roy of the Rovers. And now it's Chopra up against back T. Starts the opening goal. Charlie Abbott now for Blackpool. Round the wall and in. How about that? This is a great chance. And Cardiff City score. Campbell with the attempt. And Everton there and it's in. And Taylor Fletcher scores. Still going. Oh. DJ Campbell slipping at the bottom. Abbott Albright there. What a finish to the first half. This is a day that Blackpool fans will never forget. What a moment and what a match. And after decades in the doldrums, they'll be rubbing shoulders with the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool and Chelsea. And they can't quite believe it. Blackpool, Premiership. Just unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable. 1-0 down and 2-1 down. I just can't believe it. It's the best thing, the best day of my life. I've lost my voice, I can't talk anymore. Ian Holloway is a second coming, that man is a god. It's just tangerine everywhere. And you know what? We're glad all over. I'm so proud, I'm actually burning where I'm... They actually got someone they deserve. <laughs> Richard Askham, BBC Northwest tonight, Wembley. Well, the man everybody was singing for and wanted to see today was the manager Ian Holloway, or as he's christened now, Ole Mourinho. I caught up with him on the bus. Stuart Flinders caught up with him after he'd been through all this slot here just a few moments ago. It's a combination of pride for, for the for the area, pride for the the lads. How and it's just how they did it, you know, to win nine out of the last 11 games, to win every single game in the playoffs, um, to beat those teams that we did by the odd goal on each occasion, and to do it after going behind, is just, it just sums up, I don't need to say any more, they're, they're fantastic people. Did you think, you believe right from the start when you took this job, that you had a group of players that could really achieve something incredible? I knew they had a spirit, and they must have, to, um, to have got where they got. Um, Simon brought them together and, and they were a very special group, very dogged, very hard working and you know, to stay in the championship the way they did when he left under Tony's guidance was, was a massive achievement and, and I was very surprised that Carl was looking for another manager but looking through it and reading through it, it was obvious they had that and, and it was very neat and tidy, there was no branches you needed to chop off. Everything was right and, you know, with Valeria's help, I managed to add some wonderful elements that gave them belief and, and we've worked together as a group ever since. Annabelle, thanks very much, Diane. Well, as Diane said, the sun is still shining in Blackpool. I think it's going to be shining there for some time to come. Let's go back to Gordon and Tony now. Have you had a good evening? Right. Before I talk to the mayor of Blackpool, I can just tell you the cricket score that is at 251 for six of the Blackpool. It would be the mayor of Blackpool, Councillor Don Clapham. And you're a very proud man. And the town did the team proud today, didn't they? Absolutely. We've had a fantastic celebration at the Winter Garden. The tour down here, there must have been well over 100,000 people. The weather's perfect. The, the sea's out. Look at the suns. It's absolutely wonderful. And, of course, this is a great uh, partying town with all these stag and hen and now you're going to have 
the Chelsea fans, the Arsenal fans, all the fans coming up here next season and presumably hoping that they'll stay the weekend. Well, not only stay in the weekend, Gordon. We hope we get the high rollers with the money and they spend it all there in Blackpool. It'll all up the economy, which is what we're all about. And what do you think this promotion is doing for the town and will do for the town? Well, it's just amazing. Going into the Premiership, we'll be seen all around the world once a fortnight here in Blackpool. I mean, you can't buy that sort of publicity. It's marvellous. Right. Mr Mayor, thank you very much indeed for thank joining us. Much. We'll bring uh, Tony yeah, back yeah, in there. Oh, you hide us. Hey, we've got a flag like. for you to wave. Give that a good old wave. All right. Behind you. That's for Blackpool. They're still ecstatic here, as you can see. And what we are going to do is to leave you as we bask in the sunshine and the glory of Blackpool. And we'll leave you with some of the moments that made this an absolute fairy tale.